It's time to finish this. This challenge I started so long ago. It's finally come to a close. Let's go ahead and rush towards the end here. I had to save and quit, which uh, meant it put me in the very beginning. Getting back there is not very tough, and it's fine. Oh, let me check something while I'm at it. This is, I am planning on this being like the last episode. I don't plan on stopping if I, I'm probably going to die a lot, but I don't plan on like stopping if I die a whole lot. Let me check. Wow. So I recorded, like not like necessarily the upload, but I recorded the very first episode of Twilight Princess HD True Pain Mode on July 13th, 2016. It's been almost four years. That's so weird. I mean, granted, I took a hiatus from this series for a while. I remember recording this a little bit between Ocarina of Time when I was doing that minimalist challenge, but it's been almost four years! How is that even possible? What even is time, am I right? That's so weird. Four years. That's so weird to think about. Man. crazy. That's so crazy. Anyways, I need to do this. What? That's not what I meant to hit. Okay, where'd I go? I went this way, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh, anyways. But yeah, I mean... It's crazy. I've come so far in this challenge. I never really expected myself to get this far. I mean, I wanted to. But I never expected I'd be seeing this. Like, this ridiculous challenge I put myself through. I never expected to see this through to the very end. And here we are. At the very end. With far less stuff than I thought I'd ever have. <laughs> I'm still missing, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items. And this side is assigned for key items, like letters and stuff, so that doesn't count. Uh, no upgrade to quiver size. No up. No more, like, bomb bags. Just. Oh, man. I'm missing uh, the Hylian shield. The magic armor. I'm missing the other 35 pose souls. Oh, no, no, no. There's a total of 60. So I'm missing 55 pose souls. Um, I, of course, only have the one hidden skill. I've only fished like three times. No, two times. That's because it was required to fish two times. Smallest wallet. I haven't looked at all my letters. Like, I've gotten them, but I haven't even read them. <sighs> Man, so weird. But here we are. And I don't know how long this video is even going to be. Like, it could be an hour long, for all I know, but... I'm actually kind of doubting it. But, uh... I guess we'll find out when the time comes. Alright, this way. Ugh. Also, I'm very fortunate to have not lost my Ordon shield, despite all the times I've had fire hurled at me. So, that's cool. Can I grab that? Is it too far away? Looks like it. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, that was a little too close. 
and here we are. So it takes roughly four to five minutes to get to the boss door if you've already gone through everything. Alright, here we are. Also, I'll have basically no chances to heal myself up. I didn't... Oh, I didn't even think to grab a fairy. That's fine. It'd be kind of wasted on me anyway. But, uh... All of Ganon's attacks will basically kill me in one shot. In there. Let's go. Wait, what does Midna have to say? Oh, I can't even talk to Midna. Here we go. The destroyed statue of the goddess. This is. And there's Zelda. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Ganondorf. <sighs> I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Midna, to defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. Pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Ha! Such conceit. But if you are one of the chosen wielders of power, as you claim, I will risk everything to deny you! Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Very well. Deny me. Then, yes, try to deny me, you and your little friend. Okay then. Well. Oh boy. Both of you faithless fools who would dare to take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. So you choose, and so you shall feel my wrath. Alright. It's time to face the four-phase fight. Ganon's puppet, Zelda. All right. This looks familiar to you, doesn't it? Mm. 
Okay. That's the only way to attack Ganon like this. Come on. Yeah, our sword can't do anything to Zelda. Come on. Let's play some more Dead Man's Volley. I've gotten better at it since the, uh, 100 plus years ago, since the Hero of Time did it. Yeah. Just out of reach. That could deal some massive damage. And there's no way to speed up this fight. You just gotta keep at it. Come on, then. How about some more Dead Man's Volley? I hear it's pretty fun. In the world, who's trying to contact me right now? Okay, phase one is over. <sighs> oh, here we go. Time to cast out Ganondorf. This can't be good. <sighs> Dark Beast, Ganon. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> I kind of messed it up. You're supposed to not do that. Um, anyways, way to ruin a very cool and dramatic fight by already dying. Okay, cool. We do start back here. Well... I mean, all deaths are unintentional. Well, not all of them, but most deaths are unintentional. But this one is, like, more so. Where's Midna? Midna? Where are you? Oh, there you are. There we go. All right. Time to attack the wound. All right. There. Okay. There is an alternative- actually, I'm using the alternative method to defeat him in this form. Using human form, you can actually shoot his jewel with an arrow, and that'll make him, uh, paralyzed.
There we go. I just want to point out something. Minna is doing all the heavy lifting of this. This is very tough. Uh, basically, stopping Ganorf like that would be impossible for Link. I just want to point that out. Because this boss isn't very tough. Well, it isn't once you know the trick. Which I, I do. Come on. After a few more, he'll be using his portals to rush out. Then he'll teleport away and try to land on us. That's why I've been keeping a wider angle for a camera. This is also the safest way to take out Gandorf too, which is why I'm using it. I'm also using it for thematic. Come on. Where's your portal? There. Ah, I messed it up. Okay, I'm probably going to go back to human form. This is taking a while and I messed up fairly hard there. But, you know what? No. I'll persevere. It's not that bad. Where are you going? Come on, then. Yeah, I don't think so. Get out of here. Also, there, there is at least a fairy in one of those pots over there. But... Where? Okay. Woo, that was a little too close. Almost got speared through by his tusks. Ugh. That could have been bad. Deadly, even. Where's the portals at? Ah! You're scaring me, Ganon. Uh, he has a lot of force in that. I'm surprised we didn't bump into the barrier. And that, the barrier itself would not have killed us, but if we bumped into it, he would have kept going, and that would have killed us. So that's cool. I'm gonna stay on my feet. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ganon! Hold still there, bud! Ugh. Okay. We're almost done. Just a little bit more. The thing I'll be doing is multi warping. I'm fairly certain at one point he'll like he'll dash and he'll warp away, but that might be if we only use our arrow. I don't know. I don't want to really test it out though. I just know it's gonna be a thing he tries to do. Are you gonna try and land on us this time or portal? Portal. Yeah, he'll quick warp. Yeah, there we go. He only allows for one portal, then he goes right through it. So you gotta find him. There we go. Dark Beast Ganon has been defeated. Whew. With two deaths being very embarrassing, but not a big deal. I think this is the first time I've died to Dark Beast Ganon, but I guess it makes sense. I'm usually fully stocked up and ready to go. Don't forget, this fight is four phases, not just two. Oh, 
something's happening. Princess, I... I... Say nothing, Midna. Your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you've endured. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Looks like Min is going to try and stop it. Is it over? Well, we're at Hyrule Field. I guess it must be over. What's that in his hand? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No, oh, great. Spirits of the light, widows of the great power that shines far and wide upon the lands of our world. In my hour of need, grant me the light to banish evil. That could have been bad. Three hearts. Chosen hero, lend us the last of your power. I'll try to slow Gandorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within range of my arrows. Okay, I need to be very clear on something here. This phase is the hardest phase. I have died multiple, multiple, multiple times in this phase. I did a test quite a few months back it was when I was, like, right before I was getting ready to restart the challenge. I don't mean after the data loss. I mean, like, when I was getting back after the hiatus. I, uh, went on my 
the first file, my selection, where it has all the hearts and everything, and I was testing out to see how much damage he does, and I died a whole lot. Because the controlling in this game is not exactly as good as it was back in the GameCube or Wii version. Something about the horse riding is off, and it's not as, like, uh, it's not as smooth. So, don't be, <sighs> expect me to die a lot, is what I'm getting at. This fight is very hard, but this is the, f this is the final push. The final phase of Gandorf is probably the easiest one, which is weird to say, but it probably is. Um, if I die at the last phase, it's whatever, but here it's going to be like a huge endurance test. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, man. It's like, I need to get behind him. Okay. Oh, goodness. His Phantom Riders. Yep. This fight's just flat out tough. It's just straight up tough. Which may make sense. What? Where'd he go? What? You missed? Zelda! Okay. Missed. Not good. Oh! That's it! Oh! Uh... Okay, I expected a whole lot more death than that. Clearly. Huh. Guess I'm lucky. Oh, you're over here laughing it off, huh? An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire? To take this foul blade and use it to blot out the light forever. Here we go. The last fight. Dark Lord, Ganondorf. There's a pretty easy trick to this. Just gotta keep a distance. Oh, that's not good. Come on. You're gonna do that? Come on. Okay. This is how you cheese the fight. You just wait until you can do that over and over again. Come on. Not done with you yet. There is one more way to use this fight, and I feel like I have to show it off. 
Oh, you see that? Big dummy. For some reason, he's just really enthralled with the fishing rod. That is the other way to tease this fight. And it's amazing. You see this? It really shouldn't work, is what's amazing about it. Anyways, back to an actual serious sword fight. And it's over. And with that, we have successfully beaten The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD True Pain Mode. After nearly four years in the making, Do not think this ends here. The history of light and shadow will be written in blood. This is one of the very few games where we actually kill Ganondorf instead of just sealing him away. But he dies standing up. How about that? <sighs> but wait, there's one more thing. Hey, it's Minna. Wait. Something's different about her. Well, well. Midna, the Twilight Princess. What? Say something. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> wow. This has been a crazy ride. <laughs> oh, man. This is so weird. When I first started the series... You know, I'd, I'd start off, like, every episode of anything I record with, oh, Zelda Knight 94, all that nonsense. And, uh, like, halfway through, like, the hiatus, I just stopped doing that, because I didn't really care for it anymore with the intro. And I just wanted to get into the game itself. So, within the almost four years of doing this, I've kind of changed formats. Instead of making episodes, like, ten minutes, I'd make them, like, twenty-five to whatever, how long however long it felt it would take 
Um, with 20 minutes to 30 minutes being an average episode. And then Temples being like part one and part two typically. Um, which ended up killing the time a lot, which led to episodes that were nearly an hour long. But, hey. And of course we can't forget the time where I lost data because it didn't want to record, apparently. I feel like that was so long ago, man. That was a water temple. That was like Temple 3. Out of the seven or eight we've done. Something like that. And when I first started this series, I was doing the Ocarina of Time Three Hearts Minimalist Challenge. Which, at this point, it should be called the Minimalist Challenge. Because Three Hearts is implied. Mm. And you know, it's pretty cool. Because I get to move on from this game. But when I say move on, I don't want it to sound like I was ready to go away from this game. This is my second favorite Zelda game of all time. Like, just flat out. Sorry, I'm messing with my pop filter. It's probably going to sound really bad. But, uh... It goes like Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and The Wind Waker as a top three. Then, uh... Like... I like Between Worlds and Link's Awakening. For four and five. Something like that. But, uh... That means I get to go on to... The Wind Waker HD. And do that run. Which admittedly I've wanted to do for quite a while. But I know that if I didn't focus on what was currently in front of me, I would not be able to do either of them. Oh look at that! Colin's got the Ordon Sword and a shield of his own. Just like Link. <sighs> this game is really something else, though. I mean, maybe aside from nostalgia, it probably would be my number one Zelda game. Put a lot of time into this game throughout the years. Back when it was on GameCube slash Wii. And then when it came on Wii U, like, I got, like, day one. I played it, like, day one. <laughs> I got pretty far, too, and I was doing a 100% run, too. I just... I love this game so much. And there's so much stuff that I wanted to show, but I couldn't, for obvious reasons. Being a minimalist challenge, you can't really go out and show other stuff. Um, bonus episodes aren't really something I'm used to doing, but I might do a bonus episode where I try and tackle the Cave of Ordeals, which would require me to... Uh, move the Bridge of Elden back to its location. But considering I've already beaten the game and it's outside of the confines of the Minimalist Challenge, it's just taking in what I've been doing with the three hearts and everything. It'd be an interesting challenge run. Um, but I don't know when I'll do that. And it's not like that's something that I'm going to be focusing on. It's just a thing that if I feel like doing, I'll do it. Kind of like Zelda at midnight. It just depends on when I want to do it. I'm just watching the credits. This is like, this is good for me. I get to relax, get to rest. Mm. It's nice seeing this world return to a peaceful state. Also, I don't want to spoil too many things, but it's funny how this Gandor fight was four phases. Uh, in a similar fashion, the Wind Waker HD, or the Wind Waker, whatever, 
The final Gendor fight is also a four-phase kind of deal. But there's more space between Phase 3 and Phase 4. We get to move around and do some stuff. But, I don't know. There are quite a few similarities between the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, and there's also a lot of differences, but... One being the fact that Wind Waker is on the open sea, and this one is very much land-based. But... Hey. Arbiter's Grounds, and the Mirror Chamber in front of us. Well, I guess this is farewell, huh? Light and shadow can't mix, as we all know. But, never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadows and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I know now the reason the goddesses left the mirror of twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, your words are kind, and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, then maybe you'll do alright. What? No words for me? No words for Link? Nothing? Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror's around, we could meet again. Three hearts. I... See you later. And the bittersweet ending. We'll never see Minna again. She sat at the mirror. Our world's never to be crossed again. but it had to be done. I think this is the first time I felt sad about seeing that.
of the Master Swords at rest again. As it should be. In the end, all things are as they should be. Back at home. Laid to rest. We're on our way home. Back to see everyone. And everything is as it should be. Recreated. Reconstructed. Rebuilt. And the stab creds for the HD version. Uh, the standard version actually stops there on the Statue of the Goddesses, where it says, like, the end or something like that. But because this game is an HD version, and, went, and there's more work that also went into this game, there's more credits, which is good. I don't think any of my episodes of these ever stretch across an hour. It came very close on a couple of times, but... <sighs> also, go listen to the soundtrack. The soundtrack's friggin' amazing for this game. Mendes Lament's good. Dark Beast Scan is great. Of course, Temple of Time, favorite of mine. Which I guess is like the Ocarina of Time soundtrack, but still. Just saying, if this game comes out on the Switch, I'll be replaying it and probably doing 100% run for the channel. Because I have a hard time putting down a Zelda game. And putting on a Switch version will give me an excuse to play it again. <laughs> so. The HD version came out 10 years after the original version did. The end. Well, um, I don't think I have too much more to say. Uh, this has been, again, quite a wild ride, but, uh, very enjoyable, and I'm glad I stuck to it. With the style of the, the challenge itself, it's just ridiculous, but, I don't know. If you're really into Zelda, if you're a really hardcore player, you like doing... Zelda, you like, you like doing Zelda games. If you like playing Zelda games and you have this game basically memorized or whatever, give it the uh, minimalist Gandor from Yabo challenge. I mean, frick, that'll run you into the ground. But, um, anyways, uh, thank you all so very much for watching. Um, I'll look forward to seeing y'all again when I play the Winnaker HD. Until then, this has been Zelda Maniac 1994, and I'm signing out of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD.